we were uh, we had a quarterfinal against Brandon two weeks ago, and we were very pleased to uh, be successful in that championship, uh, that quarterfinal. Uh, our final four competition at Trinity, we competed very well, and unfortunately finished fourth and uh, drew the sixth seed in this tournament. Thank you. And, uh, Coach Kamal, can you uh, maybe give us a bit of your journey to this championship? Ben, nous sommes très heureux d'être ici euh, pour euh, le championnat canadien. On a eu une très très belle saison. Euh, on a eu l'opportunité aussi de jouer contre plusieurs équipes qui sont présentes ici au championnat national, dont l'Université de Calgary, euh, l'Université Queens, l'Université du Manitoba. Euh, et je leur souhaite à tous euh, les meilleurs des chances. So, I would like to wish uh, good luck to all the teams uh, in this tournament. And we are very happy with our season and having a chance to, uh, to play the ring this year. A few teams that are here at the National Championship, like Manitoba, Queens, and uh, Dalhousie, and uh, which Manitoba. Manitoba, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're here, man. Right? How are you? <laughs> okay, good luck for you. <laughs> Hey, come on in. <laughs> All right, thank you, Coach. So we'll open the floor to uh, any questions. Dan, I'm very uh, anxious to listen to you in French. Any questions for Yeah. So your two teams played in the, the bronze medal last year, right? This is a rematch of that. Yeah. How, how do you feel about that? What do you feel uh, about that? Coach you'd like to okay. What, what's it like to be playing each other again? Which coach? Uh, the little dog coach. Why? It's, it's not like boxing, you know. It's not like a revenge or something like that. But, I mean, I think it's it's always good at nationals, you know, to um, to see teams like before and. You know the matchup uh, in your preparation. I think it it helps athletes and coaches. You know, um, and mostly during the year, not necessarily from the bronze medal last year. I don't know what to say. But you, want to. <laughs> you agree? We, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> we actually had the opportunity to play Laval in January at the Saskatchewan tournament. So I'd agree with Pascal. The opportunity to play uh, throughout this season is a benefit to to our team and to see their style of play and to get an opportunity to play against them in January and prepares us better for seeing them here at the national championship. Any other questions? Yeah, Gilbert. Uh, for Coach Clermont, um, you guys were undefeated in Quebec this year, but obviously, you know, it's been a weaker conference. Coming in, starting up against Calgary, who have kind of been a little battle hardened through the playoffs. Is there going to be an adjustment to kind of step in that tougher competition right away? Well, you know, in our conference, we've been in that situation since many years. I mean, you know, uh, we, uh, we are on the feet in the last four years. It's kind of a, an honor, but not necessarily to, you know, it's our conference, and uh, that's it. Uh, we, uh, we try every year to raise our um, schedule and give the opportunity to our athletes to, to, to face the the best team in, in the country to uh, compensate, I don't know if it's a word, but you know, to help us. Uh, and like we uh, invite Manitoba Bison right at the bat in October, and we knew that they, they will have a, a big team, and they proved through the season that they are one of the best teams in the country. So that kind of opportunity help our team to, uh, to keep the level and be ready for this national championship. And I think we did the, the things right through the season, through all the season. Yeah. Any other questions? Well, I guess going the other way for Coach Durant, you, you know, you said unfortunately you finished fourth, but you guys managed to play five, uh, five playoff games in a short span. Uh, you know, you, you're worn out, or are you guys, you know, ready to, ready to keep these tough games? Yeah. <clears throat> no, I don't think we're worn out. I think we're prepared. Uh, we've got a chance to play the Trinity Westerns and the U of A's and uh, the Brandons in our playoff run. So we're healthy and we're prepared. Any other questions? Yeah. Uh, 
All right, there's no further questions. Uh, thank you, coaches. And, uh, <laughs> thank you. Coach Keith, maybe you could tell us a bit about uh, your journey to this tournament, uh, what your team's gone through, and obviously, uh, I'm sure you're excited to be here today. Well, we're very excited to be here. It's, uh, you know, we really look at it as two distinct seasons for ourselves. It's, uh, you know, difficult to get here, we feel, um, with our conference, and uh, we're certainly glad that, that that first season is over with, and now we can uh, take a look at the next uh, next part, which is not going to be any easier. Uh, we, we really look forward to the challenge of uh, playing Western. Uh, we don't know a lot about them, but I see... Uh, three very talented players sitting in the front row here that we're going to have to uh, battle with tomorrow and uh, and from what we've seen on the tape they're uh, an excellent team and uh, one of the two excellent representatives of the OUA. Coach Sage, uh, your thoughts on uh, Uh We're thrilled to be here. Uh, it's the first opportunity that I've had as coach of Western to be uh, in the Canadian Championships. Uh, we were fortunate to win our league in order to host the final four in Ontario, uh, won our semifinal against uh, Waterloo, and then played a, a cup match against Queens in the OUA final, losing in five. Uh, and uh, we're excited to play a quality opponent like Manitoba, and uh, we're really looking forward to the challenge. Thank you, coaches, so we will open for any questions. Coach Sage, what does the loss to Queens do to your momentum going into this game? Uh, it stung for a couple of days, and it was tough to get over. And we briefly addressed it as a team and have moved forward. And uh, the opportunity uh, to play teams at this level, uh, I think my guys are, are over it and they're really excited to, to see what they can do here. Hi, uh, Coach, on that note, um, you know, obviously, you know, it was a tough loss, but this is your first CIS championship and you've clearly got some very talented players on your team. How do you think you guys stack up against, you know, the nation's elite in your, in your first trip to nationals? It's hard to evaluate. We played uh, a couple of ten, uh, top ten teams through our, our exhibition schedule, uh, which gave us a taste of, of what it's like. So it's new for us. So uh, again, it's hard to evaluate. We've watched some video of Manitoba. They, they are very good and seem to be always in system. Uh, and uh, we'll have to play well in order to compete. But I have full confidence in my players. Uh, one more for Coach Stage. I mean, you guys haven't been here since 2001. You're sitting next to a coach who's been here about you know 26 times or so. Uh, what, uh, <laughs> how are you going to overcome that coming into your first tournament against some pretty uh, qualified competition? Uh, it's really a lifelong goal of mine to get here. Uh, Garth has been an idol for me growing up and watching his success. Uh, so, I don't think we'll be overwhelmed by it. I think uh, my guys deserve to be here, and uh, I, again, I'm just I'm excited for them, and uh, really looking forward uh, to watching them compete at, at the highest level, and I know that they can do it. I guess one for Coach Kuchki, uh, are the only team to beat uh, Trinity Western this year. You, you pushed them pretty close in the final. Um, you know, that coming in here, the gold medal, the only, the, only, the only thing you want to lose it? Well, we, I mean, we've got a, got a ways to go. We would really love the opportunity to play Trinity Western again, but uh, um, the worst cliche in the book is we'll take them one at a time. And, uh, to get to that level, and uh, and, and the game of volleyball, it's, it's uh, you know it's a, sh a short match out there, and uh, you've got to control the momentum of of the game to uh, to win a game. So uh, you know we're we're trying as hard as we can. Hopefully, my experience will, will help our players to focus on our 
our one match on Friday uh, to get through that, and uh, and uh, hopefully we will put our best effort on the floor and give it our best chance. I'm really confident in our team. Uh, this year we have played well in every match that we've played, and, uh, and uh, uh, so I, I look forward to getting out there again and, uh, and proving that we can continue on through the rest of the season. Uh, on that note, I mean, obviously you've been here tons of times. Uh, how does this field stack up compared to some of the ones that you've faced in the past? Uh, it's, uh, in my situation, I don't think I even remember half of them. So. <laughs> 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 it, makes it makes it a little more difficult. This, I mean, this is a really special one for me as a, as a coach uh, to be here. Uh, coaching my son here, which is, uh, you know, a big, a big plus. I'm not going to lie about that to anybody. So it's, uh, you know, but it's, this team is a team that, uh, in, in a lot of the situations, it's a bunch of guys that I've been coaching since they were 14 years old and, uh, throughout clubs. So we've been together for a long time. So it's, uh, uh, it's a great team and uh, we all uh, get along really well. They know, certainly know me very well. I know them, etc. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, squad that's worked hard to get here. Uh, you know, we had a, a tough defeat last year, losing to uh, Brandon by two points to not make it. That stung for a long time. Uh, uh, so it's uh, they've gone through the, the hard knocks to get here, and uh, I just I love watching their faces now that they're here to see how they can uh, enjoy the opportunity. And last one for Coach Sage. Um, you know, this is Queen's first major championship in a while. Um, pretty exciting. Have you asked uh, Sam Pedlow to be the chair That's a good question. Um, Sam had a, a, a great career here at, at Queens, and now is uh, pursuing his academics at Western. Uh, Sam came out to our first uh, tryout wearing his Queens t-shirt, which I obviously wasn't thrilled about, but knowing he had no eligibility left, I uh, quickly asked him if he was interested in helping out, and you know, quite honestly, he's done a great job with our middles. Um, Brenda has taught him well, and he's passed a lot of that knowledge on uh, to my guys, and uh, we're quite happy uh, to have him and he now wears western color. <laughs> happy about that. All right, if there's no further questions, uh, thank you, gentlemen. It's a uh, thrill to be here and earning, earning the team's way into this championship. Uh, maybe just give us a story of how this has gotten. Well, I think I'll go back just a little bit further. Uh, five years ago now, we brought in a group of six athletes that all had at least provincial team experience and we were very, very excited about uh, the prospect of doing something special with this group and uh, with the support of the department, Leslie Delson and Janine Sargent, we were able to bid and earn the CIS championship and uh, I think the fact that we were just unveiling the ARC uh, in this cycle made it perfect timing for us to have this event and I think it's going to be a, an absolutely fabulous event. The um, the five-year plan didn't uh, unfold quite the way we expected. We had a number of fairly serious injuries along the way, um, but we think we've recovered from a lot of that. Uh, the players who haven't been able to come back in the roster um, haven't been able to come back in the roster, and fortunate for us, some other players have stepped up and really done a great job for us. And it took a little while for it to uh, shape itself and gel, but I think we're there. Um, not unlike my colleague uh, from Manitoba, we treat each season as a separate season and the regular season was one thing we, we went through the second season, which is the season to get here. Um, I think playing very good volleyball and uh, we're excited to be here now and we think Alberta is a good matchup for us. Um, it's like having an extra player on the court. I've said that to the local media a number of times when you're playing on your home court. Um, the energy that you can feed off from your home crowd is like an extra player <coughs> and uh, we're excited to be here. Uh, keys for us I think are going to be serve receive is a big part of it. If we can uh, pass the ball well and stay in, stay in system I think we'll compete very well with Alberta. I know they've sustained some injuries recently as well and so we're game planning for sort of scenario A, B and C depending on which of their players are on the floor.
All right, we'll open the floor to questions. Coach Willis, you've got uh, obviously eight fantastic teams here this weekend, but in your words, can you explain to us what this really means this weekend? Volleyball is on the national stage right now. I mean, volleyball is the real winner here this weekend, but can you put it in words what this means for Queens, what this means to the city of Kingston? Uh, a little bit more Certainly. I, I think, first of all, for me personally, uh, this is, was a goal of mine when I first came to Queens 25 years ago, was to eventually be in a position uh, to compete for a CIS title at home, and uh, it's, it's overwhelming almost to be in that situation. So for me alone, I have to kind of contain my own emotions. Uh, for the university, I think it's a huge thing. Uh, about five years ago, the university undertook an internal review and did an evaluation of all our sports and uh, reshaped the athletic program. Men's volleyball was considered at, at the top of that list or one of the top uh, teams in the list. and. Uh, um, gave us support as a result of that to get to the point we're at now, not just in hosting the championship, but in creating a competitive schedule that allowed us to get to this level. Uh, we went to Europe two years ago, we were in Calgary and in BC this year, and playing those level of teams uh, for several years in a row has really made our team a, a seasoned veteran team. We have eight um, fourth and fifth year players We've played about 20 matches against ranked teams in the last two years, so I think all of those things uh, poise us to be a great contender. Um, I think that's an important element for hosting at Queens is we're, we came in the front door, we're seated, uh, I think, in a re respectable position, and um, the crowd is going to see some of the best volleyball that Canada ever has to offer. Uh, the national team is not a team that is uh, exposed often, and CIS volleyball is the next best thing, and as good as any volleyball in North America. So we're really excited to have it in Kingston. Um, from a commercial level, I think the impact on uh, hotels, restaurants, uh, car rentals, everything else uh, is, is huge. It, it's a huge boost to the economy in Kingston, and hopefully the sporting community will come out. You know, you can't see volleyball on television day after day like you can see hockey, basketball, and football. And, and this is something really special for sports fans. Uh, Coach, um, you know, it's been a remarkable turnaround since the first half of the year when you guys were struggling with injuries and results. Uh, back then, you know, you, the team kept telling us they weren't too worried things were going to turn around, but maybe now that you're here, can you tell us what you're worried? <laughs> <laughs> was I worried? Um, I was concerned. I mean, we, uh, we were one in three after the first two weekends, uh, I turned to uh, Sully, my assistant coach, and said, we're one in three, we gotta change some things. And you know, we didn't change a lot of things. I think it was more a matter of uh, just sort of settling in. We were trying to run some things that I think we weren't capable of running, but, uh, and so we simplified things a little bit, and that helped. I think the players that were in the lineup settled in well and just got better. And uh, as a team, by Christmas time, it was wonderful that Ben Josephson hosted us at Trinity for a whole week at Christmas. We trained with them, we competed with them. We came back realizing, you know, it's this close. Maybe he was being nice to us, I'm not sure, but uh, <laughs> we had some very good sets and uh, that was really important for us. And in the second half, we only dropped two matches and they were both in close five set matches and, uh, and then went on a 3-0 roll right into uh, leading into playoffs, so. Um, but I have to say that the OUA this year more than any other in my 25 years has prepared us well for this championship. This is our sixth appearance uh, in the last decade and um, it's the most competitive OUA we've ever had. I think the top six teams can all compete nationally. So it's getting much, much closer to being what Canada West is and that if you don't bring your A game every day, you're going to lose. So. Brenda, why why does why is the West dominated this tournament? What what do you think has separated them over the years? What do you have to do to, to perhaps reach Mike, that I level think, this week? I think the biggest thing initially is that most of the conferences outside of Ontario only have two or three programs. Now that's slowly changing. I think BC's up to five now. Is that right? Uh, five CIS programs in BC now, or four? Uh, it's it's six. it's six now, so it's changing. But for a long time, there were two or three CIS programs in each province. So provincial teams were 
only dispersing among a small number of programs. And those institutions were supporting volleyball at a level that wasn't happening in the OUA. Full-time coaches, better travel budgets, that's all changed. The landscape is much different. We now have more full-time coaches. Quest for Gold funding is helping us keep Ontario athletes in Ontario. Um, I think the emphasis on training and so on has grown to the point that we're running legitimate programs no different than any other. Our talent is still divvying up much more. The advent of scholarships in the OUA has increased our ability to keep Ontario athletes in Ontario. We used to lose our top layer. In fact, there were years where I think you had maybe four Ontario starters on your team at one time. And yeah, and Alberta's always had a number and more and more of those are staying home. So I think that's really helped as well. Any other questions? Thanks, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> so, Coach uh, Oda, maybe you could uh, tell us about your team's journey to this tournament here. Sorry, were you, were you talking to me? <laughs> oh, no, I saw you asked in here. Um, okay, I'll start, I guess. Uh, we, had a, we had a really uh, up and down season. Uh, I think that after Christmas we really addressed some, some important issues as far as uh, what we needed to be doing on and off the court and uh, since then like we probably hit rock bottom just after Christmas when we went to the York tournament. Uh, had some injury issues and just some personnel issues and uh, but since then I think our team has really come together well. Uh, we made some changes to the roster and then uh, uh, the guys that have been playing, uh, we've just uh, improved steadily every week. And I think we're playing our best volleyball uh, the season right now. Our guys are really confident. And, uh, you know, we're really excited to be here. Um, not coming here to the tournament last year, I think, was a, a real eye-opener for a lot of guys. And, you know, you can say all the things you want as a coach, and, and it just seems like cliches when you tell our guys, you know, tell players year after year, like, you can't assume anything, you know. And, prepare for this team's best game and and last year it all it all kind of happened and, and I think that uh, yeah until you go through those uh, tough times you don't really learn to appreciate all the things that you have to do to, to get to this level and uh, I think that really helped prepare us uh, for the season that we had and uh, our guys have uh, really come together and we're really looking forward to this weekend we know that uh, we have some pretty tough uh, you know competition out here and, and we're certainly not taking anything for granted but uh, we're really excited, and, and I'm personally really excited about the, the prospect of uh, competing uh, this weekend with some great teams here. Coach Shostan, obviously the number one seed. Uh, maybe tell us about uh, your team's trip. Uh, it was a great season. Um, you know, we returned most of the group from last year, uh, so we added a player from a couple years ago, Steve Marshall. So I thought we uh, we lost one starter and added a former starter. So I thought. We knew we were going to have a really deep, really talented group through the season, and uh, they've just gotten better every day, every week, and that's all we could ask for. And uh, other than the, the loss to Manitoba, we were able to get through, but uh, it wasn't easy. I mean, there's a lot of tough, tough matches along the way. So we feel good about where we are, but uh, this is this is what really counts. So we've been waiting a year to get back to this tournament, and now we're excited to have this opportunity. Looking forward to questions. Uh, for Coach uh, Josephson, um, you know, you guys almost swept the uh, the uh, award. Um, how does that feel? Thank you, Thank you Nelson. No, it's uh, <laughs> awesome. uh, unbelievable. I mean, uh, just add more more pieces to the pile for pressure, you know, on, on our group. So it's uh, just just more things we got to deal with this weekend. Um, great honor uh, that the coaches thought, you know, our, our guys were deserving. Um, there are some unbelievable candidates uh, listening to Dan Hughes' <laughs> academic prowess was uh, something special. And uh, getting the chance to coach Carl and Joran this last year, I mean, those are some special athletes. So, you know, it, it's really nice for our athletes to be considered in that category. And uh, we're deeply humbled to, uh, to be chosen the winners. But uh, just to be in that uh, nomination is really, really nice for us. So, uh, really, really happy for, for our guys. I mean, Benny has been our best player for three or four years now. Nice to see him. 
Josephson come into this tournament as the defending champs, the top seed? Can you talk maybe a little bit about the pressure of living up to those expectations this weekend? Oh. Well, they say pressure bust a pipe, or so says Ray Lewis at least. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, pressure also moves with locomotives. Um, so we're hoping to use that pressure, channel it to make us stronger. Um, we've packed our bags with experience, and that's it. Everything else we got to leave behind. We got to bury the past before it buries us. Um, so we're hoping that this season, uh, you know, we, we know how to win this tournament. And so hopefully you know, that experience frees us to just try to perform well. And uh, that's, if we're performing well, then I think we've got a shot to, to beat these top Tigers and then whoever's next. So uh, defend, we're not defending anything either. Um, the banner's on the wall, last day check. Um, and uh, we're hoping to repeat, though. And that's what I think every team has come here to try to win this thing. So there's nothing to defend. There's just one, uh, one championship to earn. Um, yeah, in terms of, you know, the uh, wide experience your team had, but talk maybe a little bit about your trip to Doha in uh, October. And, you know, what's that done to prepare you guys? Well, we realized just how small we are. <laughs> that first match against Kazan was eye-opening. We unloaded our bets, and it was a free ball. So they, they were very kind to us, those teams. That, uh, all these little guys were working hard. <laughs> they, were very, they were nice. One guy you know, pasted one of our guys and imprinted his necklace into his chest. So it felt bad, so we gave him his jersey up. <laughs> so that was exciting. But uh, It's just un unbelievable to see how big this game is on the world stage. You know, Some of our guys have had the chance to compete in junior worlds and, and you know, fish games and stuff, but that was a whole new level when you're playing in the Kailabs and the pretties of the world. Um, uh, Reed Pretty had, uh, gave us an hour and sat with us and talked about you know, what it was like being a, being a Christian in the, in the pro landscape and what it's like to play pro and some of the things for these guys to think about it. That was absolutely eye-opening, so we really appreciate that. We took an hour out of his morning. But uh, it was huge for us to see uh, what that next level looks like and, and how much training we're going to have to do. You know, We're just as big, you know, touch just as high, but the, the, the quality, the precision, and the arm speed that those guys have is just shocking. So our hardest ball was maybe their worst serve. So it uh, was pretty eye-opening. Uh, Coach Oda, obviously, you know, we've talked a little bit about the accolades Trinity Western has earned this year. Um, how much does that motivate you coming in as an eight seed to know that you can be the, the team to take these guys down right away? Well, I know that my colleague, who's you know, a good friend of mine, he, he relishes that underdog role. Um, he's also like a, a great sandbagger. I'd never want to play him on a golf course. but. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, we know we're the underdog. Uh, I mean, saw the awards uh, uh, banquet, I mean, they almost won every major award there was out there. I think if they had a rookie, then maybe they would have won too, but uh, no, no, no offense to the, to, the, to the winner at all, but uh, <laughs> um, I mean, we're going to be on the court with, you know, one of the best teams, uh, you know, that I've seen in my, in my 13 years, um, and, you know, uh, all we can do is, you know, go out and play our game, and if we perform at a level that we know we can, and you know we know anything can happen, and uh, so that's all I can ask uh, of our guys. And it doesn't matter who we're playing in the first round. Every team coming in this tournament uh, is playing really well at this moment, and they all played particularly well in the last couple weekends. And you know, uh, it's it's not the team that has the best record coming in that wins the tournament necessarily. Uh, you know, a lot of these tournaments, and believe me, it's uh, a team that's playing you know the best that particular weekend. And, uh, we certainly hope that we're one of those teams, and if we are, then we've got to set at least definitely have a chance. Any more questions? All right, so thank you everyone for coming. Uh, your coach will be available for one-on-ones, and we have some of the award winners here as well.